Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. Just a quick reminder before I get started, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, give this video a thumbs up so that you never miss any of my wig related content. Today, I'm gonna to be bringing you a wig review for Uniwigs. We are gonna be taking a look at their gorgeous Georgia wig. This is a Remy Human Hair wig in a beautiful vanilla butter blonde 626R. More on her in just a minute. let's start taking a look at this beautiful Georgia. So this vanilla butter blonde, as you can see, very light blonde, just a slight rooting to it, you know, not super dark. Really, really pretty. So this one is 15 inches in length. It is Remy human hair, 110% density. She has a lace front that you cut away. So I have, you know, cut that lace and customized it to my hairline. And you can, you know, customize a widow's peak if you need one or however you need to do that. And then she came with a middle part and I moved the part over to the side, but you can, you know, you can choose wherever you want to part. You can move your part on this lace, uh, full mono, you know, or full lace top show you the ear tabs. I've got great coverage. You can also kind of see the rooting there as well. Looks really, really good. Here's the knots up close. Okay, so I did want to add that uh, her nape back here, I got a measurement of about nine to 10 inches, and then that uh, crown measurement is 15 inches. So, um, and that's pretty much all the measurements. There's just slight a slight amount of layering here in the front. Of course, you can, you know, have this custom cut if you want to add more layers. You can, I think I am going to need to uh, soften the color a little bit and darken it, maybe put some low lights through it. Um, it's got a little bit of a low light on this color, as you can see with that rooting, but I need a little more low lights. I think it's just a bit light for me. So I want to show you the inside of the cap and I want to show you how you can, um, adjust your cap. Okay, so this cap is actually 22 inches. And of course, my circumference is 21 inches. I'm 11 ear to ear and I am 13 forehead to nape. And this cap is fitting me really, really nicely because I spoke with them when they reached out to me to review and explained to them that the 22 inch cap is always a little bit too big for me. So they did some uh, sizing on it. So you'll notice when you go to the Uniwigs website that there where it says the cap size, it will say um, wig customization or size customization. I think it says wig customization. And so you can notify them and let them know that you need the size to be modified this a little bit. It's interesting because it does come with this um, strap in the back. So I think, I believe this is an update to this cap. And the nice thing about this strap is that you have these two, let me take the strap off so I can show you. You have two spots where you can put the strap in and you can help that to, you know, accommodate your head size. And then you'll notice the inside of the strap that's going to be facing your skin. It has this silicone on it. So that really helps nice it added grip. feature. So this, that makes this a glueless cap. So you technically don't have to use any adhesive. I still like to do use a little uh, lace tape. That's just me. So, um, but this cap will, should stay on without that, with this, the addition of this strap. So, so in addition to that, I'll show you. So here's that top comfort lace top here is the lace front and you can see where i cut my lace and customized it to my hairline there are clips at the ear tabs you can just uh, snip these little threads there if you don't want those i don't really need them so i usually remove those there is a comb up here on the top there's another clip on this ear tab there's a comb back here at the nape as well. And then you'll notice this is that Top Comfort lace cap. So it's a closed wefted cap. It's very, very soft, very comfortable. It does have an extended nape with hook adjusters. And I brought those in just a little bit for my circumference as well. So really, really nice. In case you have never put on a cap like this, I thought I would show you how you do this strap and then your nape and your lace front and all that kind of stuff. So this strap is gonna be the first thing that you're gonna put on. So you're gonna have your wig ready, you know, as if you were holding on to your nape, where I normally hold on to. I'm gonna hold on to this strap instead. So I'm gonna put this strap 
back here under my occipital bone. Then I'm gonna pull, sorry y'all, I'm gonna pull the nape down and it covers that strap. Then I can take my ear tabs and adjust them. One of them feels like it's inside out. Yes, okay, that happens sometimes. So then I can get my ear tabs where they need to be. So that strap is really making the cap super secure on my head. You can always adjust it again, of course, you know, that strap should be up underneath your wig. So you may have to go in, you know, and adjust it, make sure it's under the wig where it's supposed to be. Make sure your nape is where it's supposed to be. But then after you get it all adjusted, very, very secure. So the purpose is that you, you know, shouldn't even have to glue this wig down, which I may not have to. I'm just so, so accustomed to taping my lace front down. But honestly, the lace is nice and taut on my forehead. And, um, you know, I don't really think I... That's pretty secure, y'all. <laughs> okay, so one more thing about that strap that's back there. If you just don't like that strap inside the cap and you don't wanna use it, you can just you know wear the wig with a wig grip. Um, you can remove that strap if it's just not your thing. But honestly, I can't even feel it. I can't even tell that it's in there. Once I get the wig you know, all adjusted and everything, it feels really good on my head. I don't even notice that it's there. And I do like that added security. So let's start taking a look at this gorgeous color. So this is the Vanilla Butter Blonde. Uh, this is 626R is the color code. So beautiful blonde you can see with, I would describe that as a very, very light brown um, rooting. You can see the rooting anywhere you separate the hair. So when you're styling, you know, it'll show. But it's not too far from the blonde. It just gives it some dimension. I think for me personally, I would probably go in and add some, you know, maybe have a, have my stylist add some low lights in here because it's just a bit light for me, but I think it's a beautiful color. behind the ears really really easily this 110% density is just such a great density cute with a headband okay I wanted to do a little styling let's put add a little curl to her and see how how that goes Oh, nice. Really nice. The hair is so nice. Okay, I finished the curling offline just so, you know, you didn't have to sit there and watch me curl the whole wig, but really, really pretty. So, of course, with this length, she can go half up, half down. Looks pretty. And she can go in a pony. Extended nape, so you're able to go in a pony. Really, really pretty. Like I said, I love the density. It's so natural. Um, just really, really a gorgeous piece. So thank you, Uniwigs, for sending this wig to review for you all. There'll be purchase information in the description box down below this video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye. <laughs>